When it comes to pet snakes, pythons and boas are among the most popular choices. This doesn't come as a surprise as pythons and boas are both large non-venomous snakes. Plus, they have long lifespans that make them ideal companions. Despite their popularity, however, people often mistake pythons for boas and vice versa. While the two snakes might seem similar, they couldn't be more different from each other. If you want to learn how to distinguish pythons versus boas, then keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. Number 1. To better understand how pythons and boas differ, it's important to look at their classification first. Both pythons and boas are reptiles, which means they belong to the same class, reptilia. Reptiles are vertebrates with either four limbs or descendants of animals with four limbs. Aside from snakes, other reptiles include turtles, crocodiles, and lizards. While pythons and boas look related, pythons and boas actually belong to different families. Boas belong to the Boidae family. The word boa can refer to the red-tailed boa or the famous boa constrictor. However, this video uses the word boa, which refers to all the snakes under the Boidae family, not just the boa constrictor. The Boidae family comprises 49 species of boas with 5 subfamilies and 12 genera. At first, pythons were classified as a subfamily of the Boidae family. Back then, scientists confused pythons with boas too. Belgian-British zoologist George Albert Boulanger categorized pythons as part of the Pythoninae, a subfamily of the boa family. However, this classification is no longer valid. Today, pythons belong to an entirely separate family, the Pythonidae. The Pythonidae or python family comprises 10 genera and 42 recognized species. Number 2. Pythons and boas might look alike, but a closer look will help you see that their physical appearances actually differ a lot. Like all snakes, pythons and boas are both limbless animals with long bodies. They have overlapping scales instead of skin, and they shed their scales every 4-6 to six weeks as they grow bigger. On average, boas are smaller than pythons. The green anaconda, a boa species from South America, is the heaviest and one of the longest snakes in the world. It can reach up to 17 feet long, and its average weight ranges from 30 to 70 kilograms. While the green anaconda and other boa species are all quite hefty, most boa species are smaller than pythons. Most boas only measure around 4 to 12 feet long. Meanwhile, there are several giant snakes among the python species. Some python species such as the Burmese python, African rock python, and the reticulated python can grow over 20 feet long. Scientists have even recorded a reticulated python that reached over 30 feet long, making it the longest snake in the world. If you look closer, you'll notice pythons and boas also have different scales. Boas such as boa constrictors usually have brown, red, or gray scales with unique patterns. While some pythons have diamond patterns on their scales, they can also be found in solid colors as well. Number 3. Aside from their physical characteristics, pythons and boas also have differences in their body systems. Most snake species only have one lung. Pythons and boas, however, both have two lungs instead. They also have small spurs on their tails. These are vestigial limbs or remnants of their four-limbed ancestors. Pythons have more teeth and an additional bone in their head than boas. Boas have fewer teeth and bones in their heads than most snake species, including pythons. Unlike boas, pythons have premaxilla, which refers to their upper jaws lined with teeth. Don't let this fool you as boas still have powerful bites. Number 4. Another key difference between pythons and boas is their habitat and distribution. Like most snakes, both pythons and boas are terrestrial and arboreal, which means they live on both land and trees. They aren't aquatic species, but you'll often find them living near bodies of water. Pythons live in various areas of Africa, Asia, and Australia. Most pythons are terrestrial to semi-arboreal. They prefer to live, hunt, and eat on land. However, some species such as the green tree python spend most of their time in trees. They live in rainforests or other tropical areas with high humidity. While you'll find different boa species in Africa, Asia, and Australia, 
you'll also find them in North, Central, and South America. You can find boas in all types of habitats. Some species live in forests, savannas, cultivated fields, and even deserts. As arboreal snakes, they often live hidden in the barks of trees, or blend in with leaves. On the other hand, those that live in deserts usually live in underground burrows to shield themselves from the harsh sun. Number 5. As snakes, pythons and boas have similar diets and hunting methods. All snake species are carnivores, which means both pythons and boas eat meat and only meat. Each species will have its own preference, depending on their size and habitat. However, most pythons and boas prefer to eat warm-blooded animals such as rats, mice, and birds. Some species will also eat lizards and smaller snakes. Pythons and boas are both ambush predators. Ambush predators are also called sit-and-wait predators. This is because they prefer to sit in a hidden location and wait until a prey gets close enough to ambush them. They rely heavily on the element of surprise to capture their prey rather than speed or endurance. Because of this, pythons and boas are unlikely to chase their prey down like cheetahs and other pursuit predators do. Pythons and boas are non-venomous snakes, so they kill and paralyze their prey differently. Pythons and boas are constrictor snakes, which means they wrap their bodies around their prey to kill it. After they ambush the prey and latch onto it with their teeth, they coil their long body around it and apply pressure. Most snakes won't squeeze to crush the prey's bones. Instead, they squeeze just hard enough so that the prey can't breathe. Once the prey suffocates, the python or boa is free to swallow it whole. Number 6. Contrary to popular belief, pythons and boas aren't naturally aggressive creatures. In fact, pythons and boas can be quite docile, making them ideal pets for reptile lovers. They are calm and timid creatures that are low maintenance, and they don't look for trouble. However, boas can be more aggressive than pythons. Most boas, especially domesticated ones, won't hurt their handlers. However, they are more likely to defend themselves if they perceive you as a risk to their safety. Boa constrictors, for instance, will readily strike when they feel threatened. Thankfully, while a boa's bite can be painful, it is unlikely to be fatal. Boas can also be more challenging for pet owners to handle. Most boas are solitary animals that prefer spending time by themselves either by swimming or hanging in a tree. While some boas tolerate and even enjoy petting, some boas won't. They often wiggle around when picked up, making them harder to hold. On the other hand, pythons are usually friendlier toward handlers. Ball pythons, for instance, enjoy being handheld. Their sociability makes them great pets for beginners. Once they bond with you, they will enjoy being picked up. They'll even wrap themselves around your arm or waist. Number 7. Pythons and boas don't just appear as villains in movies and TV shows. They also star in their fair share of myths and folktales. Snakes in general symbolize different things in different cultures. In some cultures, the unblinking eyes of snakes meant they were smart, all-knowing creatures. Their ability to shed their scales is also often linked to rebirth and immortality. In Christianity, snakes were messengers of the devil. They symbolized evil and temptation. In several cultures, pythons are sacred creatures that deserve the utmost respect. West African Vodun, for instance, believe pythons symbolize the spirit of Dagbe, the snake deity. Vodun practitioners would sacrifice animals every year at sacred temples that housed pythons. Ghanaian folklore is another example. In one tale, a python once transformed into a log to help Ghanaians cross a river and escape from their enemies. Because of this, they saw pythons as saviors, and they believe it is immoral to eat, hunt, or harm pythons in any way. There are also several Indian superstitions surrounding the two-headed snake or the red sand boa. In India, there are several myths surrounding the red sand boa, such as the snake having two heads. Some superstitions even posit that the snake has the supernatural ability to detect hidden treasure. Many also believe that owning a red sand boa would bring luck and fortune to its owner. Number 8. Pythons and boas aren't just popular pets. They are also popular for their economic uses. As snakes, pythons and boas have highly valuable scales used for shoes, 
bags, furniture, and other leather items. Aside from their scales, however, many cultural practices also harvest different parts of these snakes for various purposes. Pythons have several uses in traditional medicine. The fat, blood, organs, and even the feces of pythons are used in various countries as ingredients for traditional medicine. Cultures that revere pythons as powerful creatures often use the snake's body fat as a pain reliever ointment. Traditional African doctors even use the head of a python to cure a patient from a witch's curse. Several species of boas are also in high demand in the market. The red sand boa or Indian sand boa is one example. Aside from the superstition that believes red sand boas can find treasure, there are also myths that claim it has anti-aging properties. They are also often used in traditional medicine, cosmetics, and black magic. Because of its demand, several laws prohibit the killing and trafficking of sand boas. These laws are among the many efforts of Indian locals to protect the sand boas from extinction. Unfortunately, the populations of both pythons and boas have diminished over the years because of overhunting, habitat loss, and pollution. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, lists several species of pythons and boas as vulnerable, threatened, and endangered. For pythons, some examples include Ramsey's python, the Burmese python, and the Myanmar short-tailed python. For boas, some examples are the Argentine boa constrictor, the Jamaican boa, and the Indian sand boa. Thankfully, there are various wildlife preservation laws and organizations dedicated to keeping these snakes safe from illegal hunting and other threats. Despite their many similarities, pythons and boas are undoubtedly unique in their own ways. Hopefully, learning how to differentiate pythons versus boas will help people appreciate these unique creatures and understand their importance as well. Like other reptiles, pythons and boas play a large role in the food web. They help control the populations of pests like rats, mice, and other invasive snakes. As pythons and boas continue to play their role in keeping the balance of the ecosystem, let's do our own part in making sure their habitats are safe and clean. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.